Oh my God, that ain't bad at all. That's a, that's what I was getting ready to see, how big the bluegill were, they're keepers. Man, that ain't bad at all. <laughs> it's a keeper. Man. Uh, I gotta... God, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. Hold on. Good God. I thought you had a bluegill. She just caught a nice uh, two pound bass there on a worm. Worm and bobber. My goodness. Pecking at mine, man. Uh, that's the one. That's the bullheads I hate. Black bullheads. They're real slimy. Always swallow the hook. Green sunfish. All right, guys, we've gotten bluegill, black bullhead, and green sunfish. Three kinds. No wonder I was having trouble hooking some of them. <laughs> Wait, way too close to the hook again. God, I don't know what this is. Is that that? Oh. Whew. Oh my God, I thought it was a big crappie at first. Man, hey, it's a fish though. Not bad. All right, guys, got my first fish of the day. Well, real fish. A little bass, about a pound. Hey, hey. Day, and I think I'm getting a bite on my minnow as we speak. Maybe. And that wind's picking back up. Oh, female bluegill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. I think it's a big bass. I just looked out and didn't see my bobber and set the hook. Oh my goodness. I'm lucky I got him. Real luck. Did you see it just disappeared out there? It didn't even tell me. Oh my God. Goodness. That's a nice bass guy. He's a two pounder. Wow. 
Alright, give me another minnow again. He ripped it up. Mmm, that's a crappie. That is a crappie. Alright, yes. Finally, guys, a nice crappie, too. Nice white. Just don't go past the tree. There you go. But you're kind of preventing me from... There's just a little spot where they're at. You need to go straight behind you and don't go past a certain spot. Go... You're going to prevent me from fishing. All right, guys, white crappie. Seven inch. I need a, another minnow. I want to show you what to do. You got to be right on, right before that tree and not on top of it and not past it or you'll get hung. I need okay. To take it, man. There he was. Got it. All right, another white crappie. They're actually still colorful, I'm surprised. I don't know why you won't listen to me. I'm trying to help you catch fish. All right, I'll show you. I'll do it again, and I'll show, you'll know exactly where not to go past. To the left. You're not giving me anywhere. Smaller <sighs> ones, but it's still fun. All right, Wilma got her first crappie. Nice white. It's actually pretty decent. That ain't bad. The reason we're catching them is because I know they're they're hiding on that tree and I'm exactly on it. That's three crappie. Guys, this is the one moment I wish I had an aquarium. A little baby three inch warm out. They're in here. That shows they're in here though. We know now. Look! I know. I know. I just caught him on a worm though. Look. No. Look at his mouth. You don't get it. Look what I just caught him on a worm. But look what's in his mouth. A minnow. He stole one of the minnows. Yours. You don't. There's a minnow hanging out of its mouth. All right, guys, a little baby warm out. Cool. Pretty little fish. I can't believe that. Look at that. Man, look how dark it is. Guys, this black bullhead is jet black. I've never seen them this dark. Because I usually don't catch them this early in the year during the mating season. When we talk about dark. Jet black. It's hard to get the Mm-hmm. Got it. I could tell it's what it was though. I called that one, predicted it. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Get it. Get it. Crappie. Oh man. That was definitely a crappie too. I can tell by the way it bit. Bass will go straight under. You're in the danger zone. There you go. Uh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Always get a bite when you shake the canoe and then I miss my chance. <sighs> oh, something pecked at the minnow again, barely. A baby crappie. It definitely ain't a crappie. If it is, it's a... Oh, man. Nice. Nice bass, man. Oh, he's trying to get me in them sticks. That's a nice large mouth. The average in here is pretty decent. I knew he was swimming too much to be a crappie. All right, guys. Hey. Ended up being a good day now. Starting to be a good day anyway. Yours was bigger than this, I think. I guess give me a minnow again. What? Your bobber's gone. Something grabbed it off the log. Oh my God. Guys, her bobber's been hung up on that log for over an hour and it just swam under and went away. Something obviously grabbed the minnow off the log and took off with it. Holy crap, it's gone. Completely gone. Whoa, yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Here, I'll try to snag it with my pole. Oh. I got it. I got it. Oh, it's big. Real big. Oh, it's a big gar or something or a boat. Oh my. Yes, it is. It's a big giant bow fin. Get your bobber out of the water. Now. I probably won't, I probably won't get it because it's just my line wrapped around that one. But you never know. I gotta let him tie her down for a long time. Oh my God. We need the dip net. That's stupid to not bring the net. I'm letting him wear down first. I'm keeping him safe. I'm keeping him safe. I'm letting him get real tired on purpose. I'm keeping tension on it. I'm wrapped around that other line. I'm hooked on your bobber, actually, I think. Barely. I think that's the fish you had earlier. He's four or five pounds. Not yet. I want to make sure he's puttered out. Don't do that. You risk losing it. Oh man. My goodness. Now be careful. Grab it behind the gills with two hands oh my gosh oh man you're gonna lose it you're gonna lose it you need to grab it with two hands when you get one hand on it put your other one on it afterwards there you go all right guys unexpected catch that is crazy how i caught this fish guys i'll explain it again her bobber she broke off her bobber earlier onto this log out in front of us. It sat there for over an hour. All of a sudden, we start seeing the bobber swim off. It went completely under for 20 seconds and came back up. I hurried up and casted my bobber and minnow right to where it was and snagged her old line and managed to hook into her bobber. Look at this, guys. It actually hooked in the metal part of the bottom of her bobber of all the places. That is nuts. It was only wrapped around twice. 
That's the only thing that was between me and that fish. Okay, you need you need to get the fish to me and then I want you to film me. You got him off the hook? No. You got the pliers? God. <laughs> Here you go. Just zoom accordingly. We'll do it for like 30 seconds. All right, guys, about a about a three pound bolt in. It's not overly fat or nothing. It's about three pounds. I want to hold it kind of low because I don't want him jumping in like last time with a pickerel. Nice little bolt in. It's the the way how I got it is what makes it so special. How I got this fish is just a miracle. <laughs> it was only because the hook was wrapped two times. I kept tension on it the entire time or he would have gone off. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> they got my, uh, they got my hook over there. He's really hung up. All right, we're going to get her back in, guys. Okay. We definitely scared the fish for a while. Go ahead. I knew they were in here. I knew those were in here. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? He didn't come on the other areas. All right, guys, we are staying away from this fella. Or I hope he stays away from us. He's coming our way, though, kind of. Now there's a little white crappie. Well, seven incher again. We haven't got no big ones yet today. I need another minnow, I guess. Can you get me one? Uh, when you get a chance. No, I got a fish. I'm not hung. Oh, come on. Man, curses of the, the curse of the sixes and sevens today for me, I guess. Goodness gracious. <laughs> It's weird how you can go one day and catch 13s and 14s and then you come back and you get 7s and 8s, 6s and 7s. Guys, got me another bluegill on a worm. The crappie are just not cooperating so I decided to give the minnow and bobber a rest. It's just been dead. Nice little bluegill. He's hand sized. get more than one from that there we go oh yeah man oh yeah nice male bluegill there i knew there would be the, the male and the female and i was patient that's a decent bluegill there guys look at that beautiful male they are definitely eating size ones wow bigger warm out there we go <laughs> well, that caught me off guard <laughs> jigging for bluegill <laughs> caught a large mouth look how I caught him instead of in the mouth it's hooked that direction 
that direction on the outside of his body. Weird. Alright guys. Little in accidental largemouth. He's on his bed because his tail's missing. Bottom half of his tail's gone. I thought he was pulling awful hard for a bluegill. That explains it. Alright guys, we were driving down the uh, scenic gravel road here and there's a copperhead crossing the road. I'm not going to get much closer than this. I'll just have to... Yes, that is a copperhead without a doubt. Do not want to get close to him. They can't... Only a few people have died, but it's not... The, the bite is that painful. Tyler got bit by one. His whole hand turned really swollen and purple. It takes a lot to agitate him, but... Yep, that is a copperhead. He's just sitting real still. He don't even care. I'm here yet. I'm about five feet from him. All right, that's as close as I'm getting, guys. I don't know how far they can strike, so it's not worth taking a chance on it. I haven't seen a copperhead in quite a while. That's one of our most poisonous snakes here in Missouri. Missouri. 